Yes, we're ready. Ready, ready na. Alright, alam po ah. Pag na-navigate lang po ako. So, can I... Sir, pwede ko na nang i-access, sir. Yes, paki po. Alright, so before we proceed, uh, let's have some rules po muna. Okay. So these are our house rules. would like to, to tell everybody that this is an interactive webinar. So it means to say, uh, we teach, you follow, we do, uh, we do, you do. Okay po. And... I am requesting everybody to please unmute yourself, unmute your, uh, uh, sorry, mute your microphone for a while by pressing Control Shift M. Uh, if you want to speak or say something, please maximize our chat box, yung atin pong uh, compost, compost uh, box. Okay. And may I ask everybody to please uh, turn off po muna yung ating camera. Para po yung streaming natin, medyo mabilis. Para hindi rin po tayo kumain ng masyadong bandwidth. Okay. Ako po nawala. Here. Nakita niyo po yung presentation natin. Sir Wax. Kita po yung presentation. Hello? Hello? Kita kasi nakamute kami. Ako po, kita. Oh, okay. Kita. <laughs> Ikaw lang matatanungan ko, Sir Wax. <laughs> Wala po ako nakikita ang chat box po dito. So, ano, yun lang po. And, um, I want everybody, uh, I am requesting everyone to please listen attentively during the session. Slides and notes are provided for you. So, hindi po mawawala yung slides and notes po natin. And then, the recordings of the session will be provided once available. Once. Uh, the difficulty of this uh, seminar or this webinar is from medium to advanced. So, um, if we have attended this year, na hindi po masyadong techy, um, katray namin yung best po namin na, ma, na, ma, na matulungan po kayo. Po. So, gaya po ng sinabi ng Sir Wax po kanina, we are hoping and expecting na na-download niya na po yung Wondershare Quiz Creator because we are no longer teaching you how to install those uh, files. Okay po? Now, for the time frame, pipilitin po natin na maging concise, yeah, na matututunan natin lahat at matatakal natin every inch of the of the Wondershare Quiz Creator. So, why do we use or why use Wondershare Quiz Creator? Gone are the days na gumagamit po tayo ng papel. Okay? Uh, one of the project po ni DepEd is providing every students with tablets and most of our computer rooms, DCP rooms are uh, DCP recipients na. Even yung mga far-flung areas, nakakatanggap na din po sila ng mga DCP equipments, the laptops, the tablets, and so on and so forth. So, uh, with this Wondershare Quiz Creator, we can maximize those DCP packages. Why or how? Okay. We can make, uh, with the use of the Wondershare Quiz Creator, we can make your quiz more challenging with time limits and randomization. Um, meron tayong dalawang magkatabing student. Okay? Same ng content ng, ng quiz or exam. Pero, dahil meron tayong randomization, nagra-randomize yung question, yung number one question kay student number one is different from the learner number two. Then we can also branch quiz takers to different questions based on their responses. We can measure performance with the self-grading system. Automatically, uh, merong grading system na sinusunod itong si Wondershare Quiz Creator. And it also provides instant review as well as feedback. Okay. And yun. So for the goals of our webinar, we are going to create an offline interactive paperless quiz. So with the use of the DCP packages, we are going to make an offline without the paper and pencil na po tayo. So gaya nung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, um, since this is an offline uh, with the use of the DCP materials, DCP packages, with just the click of the mouse, 
pwede na pong ma-access ng student. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can measure the performance with the grading system, provide instant review as well as feedback, and publish an offline interactive paperless quiz. Out of scope, ano po yung mga hindi po natin matatakal for my part? We are not going to teach you how to activate the Wondershare because we have to buy it. Fortunately, uh, we can use it naman for free. If we are going to make a quiz, offline quiz, we can use it for free. But if you want to make an online quiz, that's a different kind of story. So you need to buy the licensing. Okay? So we are not going to talk about online publishing and we are not going to talk about embedding of Wondershare Quiz Creator to other apps. So, so for our references, I'll provide you the references and I already gave you the, the material or the user manual uh, coming from the central office. So I would like to, to take this opportunity to say thank you to Sir Mark Anthony C. I asked him last night if I could use his uh, user manual and sabi niya naman sa akin, uh, everyone can use the manual. Okay, so we have a go signal for, from him. So. So are you ready na po ba? So if you're ready, let's check mo muna kung let's check po muna through the chat box or dun sa ating uh, compost box if everyone has installed the Wondershare Quiz Creator. Kapag po nakapag-install na po kayo, kindly click uh, OK or thumbs up or yes. Okay? If you are Installing, uh, sir, trial na lang po tayo, sir Josie, or mom Josie. We are ju uh, we're just going to use the trial po. Okay, yes, free trial. Naka-install na po. Kung meron po, pakisabi po na installing na lang. Yes, naka-install na po. Okay, good. Okay. Yes po, installed na po. po. Done, done, done. So I guess with all of your feedbacks and reactions, I ready na po tayong lahat. So, since I'm going to share to you my screen, my screen mismo. Okay. All right. So, everyone, you can see my screen now. Wait, sorry. Close to pull more. So here is my screen and I'm going to open. I want everybody to please, <coughs> excuse me, open your Wondershare Quiz Creator. If you are using Windows, then you just have to click yes. Medyo dadahan-dahanin ko po, no, para uh, hindi po tayo masyadong mahuli. So here, we just have to click free trial. Okay. Lahat po ba ay nandito na? May I ask Sir Wax, please uh, help me po. Uh, tignan natin yung mga feedbacks po nila kasi hindi ko na po makita yung mga chats, yung composer. Uh, they are already okay. installed it. Okay, na-install na po nila. So Install I'm requesting na. everybody. Nandito na po tayo sa same window. Sorry po, hindi kasi ako naka-dual screen. So hindi ko po makita yung other side ko. Okay po. So, kung nandito na tayo, we have to click create a new quiz. For those na hindi po makasunod, you can open our manual. Ito po yung ating manual. Okay po? I can see your reactions. Patawarin nyo ako hindi po ako naka-dual screen. So, if ever naka-dual screen ako, I can see your reactions. Po. Thumbs up. Thumbs up sila. <laughs> and by the way, we are on live, Facebook live, and... Uh, and uh, I don't know how many viewers do we have now. Okay. We have 11 million viewers po. As of the moment. Okay, 11 million. Sa akin 10. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So, first, we have to do the preliminaries. We have to skip doon sa ating quiz properties. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, for the pre preliminaries, we have to click create new quiz. Okay, then next, 
We have to click the quiz properties. Nakasunod sila, Sir Wax? Yes, oo. Uh, nakasunod okay, sila. Okay, good. Naka-thumbs up sila. Okay po. Salamat po sa inyong reactions and feedback. So, are we on the same room? Okay. So, for now, for the quiz properties, dun sa ating quiz title, Okay, if you are teaching uh, English subject, you can put here uh, your topic, English topic, a particular English topic. For example, you're teaching noun, right? Noun. And then the grade level. Okay, if you are in elementary, grade 6, grade 5, grade 4. Okay, if you are in secondary, grade 7, oh yeah, grade 11, grade 12. So, now, then the grade level, and then yun. Okay po. So, for now, uh, since ICT po ang major ko, so I'll be using my topic as Photoshop Tools for grade 10. Okay po. So, now. Doon po sa ating introduction, you can put uh, general directions kung para saan po ba yung quiz na to, kung anong part po ba, kung anong grading period. So for example, I'm going to put uh, fourth grading period. Okay. Mas madadali po tayo sa paggawa ng ating, uh, ng ating quiz if we have our ready-made PowerPoint for exams. Okay? Sa PowerPoint kasi minsan nandun yung mga questionnaires natin. So if we have our ready-made questionnaires, uh, pwede po natin magamit yon. What are those questionnaires? Uh, yung seat work na 1 to 10, quiz na 1 to 20, or even your exam na 1 to 50. Okay po? Nakakasunod po? Okay. So I guess nakakasunod naman po ang lahat. All right. So next, let's proceed doing sa author, the edit information. So everybody, please click edit information. We have to input the name of the author, the one who created this quiz. Sino yun? Kayo po yun. Okay. So for the author, please write your name. If you want to put your email address, you can put your email address. For a company, you can put your school name. For the department, you can put DepEd or your um, or the division you belong. <coughs> Hindi naman po required to lahat. Actually, uh, wala naman pong required, uh, required properties to. Pero mas maganda po, nakita natin yung information kung sino po yung gumawa. So for the picture, if you want to put your picture, just click browse and then find your picture. Okay? So, buka natin kung may malalagay ako. Yun. Okay po? Nakasunod po ang lahat? Yes. Once you're done, click, uh, please click OK. Right? Next naman po sa ating quiz information pa din, nandun pa po tayo sa unang page. Uh, you can add multimedia content. Ano po yung multimedia content na may lalagay natin? Uh, uh, the learners can watch before accessing the contents of your module. So for now, para po hindi tayo masyadong magtagal, we have to skip this. Okay, the add and browse. Okay. Skip po muna tayo. Ano? Punta po tayo sa quiz settings. Ano po ba ang passing rate ni, uh, ni DepEd? Anyone from the group? Sir Wax, baka po matulungan nyo ako. Ano po ang passing rate ni DepEd? 75. 75. Okay. Uh, 
kaya naman po mga teachers ay may puso, di ba po? So, ang passing rate, uh, I would suggest na passing rate po natin for this quiz is 50. Ano po? Para naman po yung mga medyo uh, slow, makakasunod. Para maging fair naman po ta- fair tayo dun sa mga slow learners natin. Passing rate, pare-pareho po tayo, 50. Okay? Nakasunod po. Go ahead. Okay, good. So, if you want to save your time, you can put enable time limit. For example, we only have 50 minutes uh, class time. Ang gusto natin, uh, yung 50 minute class time natin, 10 to 15 minutes yung quiz. Pero po, masasabi ko sa inyo, if they're going to take this uh, offline quiz, taglit lang po nila ito itetake. Okay? Mas matagal pa po ang paggawa. Yun naman po ang katotohanan talaga. Okay? You can put a time limit or uh, you may not even put a time limit there. Okay? For now, lagay ko lang po ay 15 minutes. Okay? Now, next. Doon po tayo sa answer submission. Okay? I want you to please use the default. Okay? Submit one question at a time. Show correct answers after submission. Allow user to review questions and answer. And prompt to resume on quiz restart. Nakasunod po? Yes. Hey. Copy. Very good. So next, doon naman po tayo sa quiz result. Okay? So sa quiz result, pwede po natin i-customize to. So if you are um, teaching Filipino or aralin panlipunan, ang mode of instruction po natin ay Tagalog or depende po sa inyong mother tongue. Okay? Kung gusto nyo pong gamitin ang inyong mother tongue, Kapampangan, uh, Bisaya, pwede po natin gamitin yon. For example, If the use, uh, when the user passes, congratulations, positive, um, positive feedback po, okay? Kapag naman po the user fail, uh, negative feedback. Pero mas maganda po dito, instead na sorry you failed, para po medyo positive yung feedback dun sa learner natin, palitan po natin kasi medyo negative po dating yung sorry you failed. So we can write there, sorry, you can try again. Kasi yung fail, parang ang sakit pakinggan, di ba po? So, you can try again. Alright? Nakasunod po ang lahat. I'm yes. giving you one minute to customize your feedback. Or, if you don't want, it's okay po. One minute. For, according to C.D. Gaberson, Empath got it. Okay, salamat. Ayan. Peace para sa'yo, sir. <laughs> okay, so, display quiz statistics on the uh, result page. And yung iba naman po dito, pwede nyo explore after this webinar. Okay. You can also apply basic formatting. Ano po yung basic formatting? Um, color, font color, font size, on style, on time. Okay po? Now, let's proceed dun sa ating question settings. You can see here, kapag po positive points, 10 points. Pag po negative points, 0 points. Ibig sabihin po nun, pag tama ang sagot niya, 10 points again. Kapag mali po ang sagot niya, syempre, uh, wrong answer, considered uh, zero. Okay? So, pag positive points, gawin po natin default ay one. But you can customize this um, uh, for every uh, part or type ng uh, questioning tool na gagamitin po natin. Okay? Kung nakakasunod po ang lahat, let's proceed dun sa font properties. Okay? For the question font, 
let's use this guide. Okay? Click po natin yung font. Okay? So for this, I would suggest na if ang ating learner ay elementary, specifically uh, primary from grades 1 to 3, I would suggest a bigger font ang gamitin po natin. But kapag po ang ating students ay uh, uh, ano ba susunod sa primary? Intermediate. Okay? I would suggest na ang gagamitin nating font is 12 or 14. Medyo smaller na po. Okay? Bakit? Kasi para sa mga bata, lalo na yung grade, yung kinder, grade 1, 2, and 3, hirap pa po sila sa pagbabasa. Okay? So, kailangan mga big letters po. And I would suggest na dapat, kapag po gagamit tayo ng mga font natin, huwag po yung may mga art. Okay? Uh, I would suggest na Calibri, okay, Times New Roman, Century, uh, Century Gothic. Okay? So, since my students or learners are grades, uh, grades 8 and 10, gamitin ko na lang po is 14. The font color should not be striking. Baka mamaya after the quiz, yung mga bata po natin, masasakit na mata. Eh, wag naman po ganun. So, let's use for this uh, webinar, black. Always remember po yung rule natin. Um, yung rule po natin sa color, white over black or black over white. Okay. Now, for the answer font, Ganun din. O, yung ginawa natin sa question font, same din po. Okay? And please click apply to all. Okay? Apply to all. Okay. Ano pong purpose nito? Lahat po ng questioning tools po na gagamitin natin, pare-pareho po sila ng fonts. Ng font size, font color, at po font style. Again, for the feedback, pwede tayong maging creative po dito. Gusto nyo, tumpak instead na correct. May tama ka. Mga gano'n, ano. So, pagka incorrect, um, for me po kasi medyo negative feedback po ang incorrect, we can use try again. Okay? Kailangan ma-reinforce po natin yung learner natin to strive for more. So, pagka incorrect, parang end of the world na. So, uh, strive natin si student natin to at least red pride. Or, you can say, you can put there, sorry. Okay. Once we're done, everybody, please click okay. Okay. Nag okay po bang lahat? So, nag-okay po ang lahat. Quiz properties po tayo ulit. I'm so Nakuha sorry. Po ba? Nakuha po ba natin? <laughs> okay. Give your thumbs up. Tayo. Okay. Click so, nag-thumbs okay. up na po sila. Okay. So, question settings. After the question settings. Okay. Doon naman po tayo sa question properties. Okay. Negative. Okay na po ang lahat. So for others, no protection lang po tayo. Okay, but as I told you, you can explore this file after the webinar. Pwede tayong maglagay ng protection. Pwede tayong maglagay ng name or others. But for now, no protection po muna. Okay, so if you're done, click okay. I'm going to give you one minute to finalize your quiz properties, okay? All right. So since we want to be more creative sa ating uh, quiz, let's go to player template. Player template. Okay? Lahat po ba nag-click na ng player template? May I know your reactions, please? Okay. 
Nag-click na po ba tayo? Sir Max, nag-click na po sila ng player template. Nag-click na, yes. Thumbs up. Okay. Sa player template po, makita natin meron tayong themes. So for now, uh, I would suggest you to please choose your own theme. So ano po yung suitable theme para po doon sa gagawin ninyong quiz, exam, or seat work. Okay. Choose muna tayo. I'll be choosing this one. Okay po. After choosing your preferred theme, everybody, please click save and close. Save and close. So let's have a quick review of what we did. First, we set the quiz properties. Second, we choose our template. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to give everybody two minutes. Okay, to finalize the quiz properties and the player template. Okay. If if nabibilisan po kayo, just uh but comment lang po tayo dun sa ating compost box or chat box and then sir wax will prompt me okay, okay uh, participants just keep your comments dito po sa ating comment box so we could uh, relay the questions to our speaker this afternoon make more time well, Sayo, sayo, po muna tayo. <laughs> All right, so I guess everybody is okay na. So they give us thumbs up. up. Okay, okay, thumbs up. Okay, so first uh, questioning tool that we're going to do is the true or false. Okay, sabi ko nga po sa inyo kanina, this webinar is intended for uh, for medium to advanced users. Kasi as you can see po, nagbibigay po ako ng time limit para po ma-accomplish natin yung ating uh, activity. Kasi ayun you know po, it's a Black Saturday. Baka po sa iba sa inyo ay namamanata pa. Kaya po may gagawin pa. So we have to maximize our time. Okay po? Now, for the true or false question, sa Tagalog, tama o mali. Okay? Now, for this part, I want you to double-click the true or false. So for the true or false question, you have to enter your question. Okay. I want you to enter your question and do it now. Kayaan ko na lang po yung gawa ng Sir Mark dito para po medyo mabilis po ako. Na. Kasi hindi ko na po mabubuksan yung, ano ko, yung, question, uh, yung questionnaires ko. Kasi sir Marco, yes, sir. Someone, someone is uh, looking for their uh, uh, exam papers. Okay po. Sige po. Bigyan ko po kayo ng uh, until 2.10. Okay? Para po makita natin yung paper natin. Sige po. Okay, so okay. while we are making our activity through our polls, no ang inyo po a minute. Okay. We are receiving a lot of suggestion from Mr. Melanio Florino. Yes, po. I think, uh, I think yung suggestion po ninyo ay uh, ano po? Ano po may tutulong ko? Nagbibigay siya ng mga suggestion. So, hindi niyo pong makuha ang kanya pong mga sinasabi para po maging additional ano po ninyo, uh, instruction how to to make questionnaires po sa ating Wondershare. Ito nga po, sir. Ginagawa na po natin. Opo, yun. <laughs> Ito po. So, first po ay nasa na tayo. True or false? So, kung... Kung Filipino po ang inyong uh, medium of instruction, so siyempre Tagalog or, or inyong, inyong mother tongue, tama or mali. Okay. You can also 
accept your own feedback. Tama. It's tama. Pagka-incorrect, hindi iyon ang tamang pagod. Okay. If you're going to look, my dear participant, meron po tayong points or meron tayong pointing system. We can put one point for correct at syempre kung sinagutan niya naman ay mali, so it must be zero. Okay, Sir Marco, moving on. Okay, so moving on. Once na meron na po tayong uh, uh, true or false question, okay, let's click okay. Man, manlakas po ba yung boses po? Malinaw Mal po ba? Malinaw. Malinaw. Clear. Sa inyo po ba, mga participants, malinaw daw po, malinaw. Magpapalit lang po ako ng, ano, ng headset. Clear po sa teams, medyo malabo po yung FB Live ni Sir Marco. Alam Sir Marco, kapalit lang po ako ng headset. Sorry Malab for the inconvenience. How about sa FB Live ko po? Baka madaanan nyo po. Yeah. Malino. Okay. Uh, yeah, malina. Mas maganda yan. Mas okay to Sir. Okay. Uh -oh. Thank you. Alright. Malino po. Malino. Okay, thank you so much po. Hindi po natin ano, sponsor yung nasa likod ko po. Ako po ay nagpa-part-time din. So, <laughs> konting commercial. Alright, go. Good. Okay. Maraming salamat po, Sir Mark Papa, for your uh, feedback. <laughs> okay, so click okay. Now, next. So, meron na po tayong true or false, no? So, nakasunod po ba tayo? Lahat po ba'y nakagawa ng true or false question? Malinaw po. Malinaw. Okay. Okay, good. So, next naman po tayo na part of questioning is the multiple choice. Okay. So, for the multiple choice, again, you have to double-click. Doon po sa ating... Multiple choice option. Okay. So here, as you can see, my dear fellow listeners, <clears throat> meron po tayong picture ng ating map of the Philippines. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, susundin ko na lang po itong nasa ating user manual para po mas mabilis. No po? Okay. So, tatay po natin yung enter a question. So, this type naman po ng question is a science question. What are the three states of matter? Okay? So, for here, nakalagay solid, liquid, gas. Okay? Solid. Type po natin yung ating mga choices. Solid, element, and gas. Okay. We also have the third is atom, liquid, and gas. So we have three choices here. Okay, po. So we have to check yung bullet kung ano po doon yung tamang sagot. Okay, po. And then, for the feedback, meron po tayong feedback, how many points po yung makukuha. So again, one point lang po. Nakasunod po. Yes. <laughs> Sir Sherwin, multiple choice na po tayo. Okay, Gina, ginagawa ko lang po na one question per, per part po. Okay po. Nakasunod po ang lahat. Thumbs up, please. Okay, that's good. Sorry, I'm late. 
Ma'am Abigail, yes po, libre po ang Wondershare app. Nandun po sa ating teams yung file na kailangan po natin. Okay? Marami pong salamat. Okay? For example, okay? For example, gusto natin lagyan ng audio file. Okay? Gusto natin yung file natin, yung questions natin na didinig ng bata kasi hindi naman po lahat ng bata ay pare-pareho. Meron pong mahina ang pandinig, iba mahina ang paningin. So, kailangan bigyan din po natin sila ng pansin. Okay? Kung meron tayong mga sudyante na mahina ang pandinig, mahina ang pag, uh, pagtingin, paningin, <laughs> hindi na pagtingin. Alright? Madami paningin. yan. <laughs> paningin. So, pwede tayong mag-incorporate ng sound. Ano po? So, babasahin ni... Uh, ni wonder share yung bawat questions. Po? So we have to click on the sound. Do you follow po? Yes, exactly po. Ma'am, Mel uh, I'm sorry, ma'am or sir. Ma'am Melanio or sir Melanio. We can use wonder share quiz creator for those students na, na PWD. Uh, poor listener, uh, poor, poor eyesight. Okay. So, paano po yun? We just have to click sound. Okay, click sound. And then, meron pa tayong text-to-speech function. Okay? Nakasunod po, once you click on the text-to-speech function, nag, uh, nagkaroon na po siya dyan ng file. So, we can play that. Okay, binasa niya yung question, di ba? Exactly po, Ma'am Hazel. It has an accessibility feature. Exactly po. Okay. So with that, meron na po tayong true or false. Meron na po tayong multiple choices. Nakakasunod po ba ang lahat? Thumbs up, please. Thumbs up. If nakakasunod. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay. Alright, so kung nakasunod po, click OK. So mayroon tayong dalawa. Now, let's proceed sa another type of questioning. We have the multiple response. What is the difference between the multiple response? Yung sa, sa multiple choice. Yung multiple choice, pwede tayong pumili lang ng isang sagot sa isang tanong. Dito naman po sa ating multiple response activity, isang tanong, maraming sagot. Okay po? So, we have here, which of the following is an even number? Mat naman po ito. Kanina may nabasa po ako, hindi po makapag-insert ng fraction. Patawarin niyo po ako, ma'am sir. Hindi pa po kaya ng, uh, ng quiz creator mag-insert ng, uh, ng fractions o kaya po ng uh, uh, trigonometric functions, algebraic expression. Pero yung basic, kaya naman po. Okay po. Pero yung mga symbols, uh, equations, mathematical equations, uh, may technique. May technique. Pero yung exact equation, hindi pa po kaya. Okay? So, going back sa ating um, multiple response, which of the following is an even number? Click two answers or two or more answers. Or you can say there are uh, more than one answer. Okay? So, everybody, I want everyone to please write the choices. Correct po. Uh, Sir Melanio, as photo. Tama po yun. Tama po, Sir Edbert. Okay? So, 47. We have the 50. We have the 63. We have 78. Since this is a multiple response question or activity, kailangan dalawa yung sagot. Okay? Dalawa yung may check. Okay? For the feedback, we can also customize again the feedback. Okay, how many points? One point per correct answer. Okay. 
Nakakasunod po. Yes. Okay, good job. Kasunod. So I can see here teachers na advance. Okay. And I can see here the uh, math teachers as well based dun sa ating mga nagko-comments. That's good. Okay. So once we're okay or we're done, click okay. Again, you can uh, you can add sounds there. Okay, the text to speech function you can add. Okay, and for the feedback, padding by question by none. Okay, if you want to give attempts, salimbawa nagkamali ng isa yung bata, gusto mo to attempts, pwede po. Okay, yung scoring system natin, it's either by question or by answer. Two or more correct answers po, pwede po. Tat yes po ma'am, pwede pong dalawa, tatlo, pwede po. Kasi po multiple responses po siya. Okay? By question or by answer. So pwede by answer. Okay? Pwede by question. Pero po sa multiple responses, I would suggest na yung scoring po natin ay by answer. By answer. Paano ko po in-edit? Paano ko po in-edit? I just double-click yung multiple response. Then the scoring. Now, now is to attach. Good job. Okay. So, I'm so happy na lahat po ay nagpa-participate giving their own uh, uh, ideas. That's good po. Okay. I know po medyo mabilis. Uh, again, tinitignan ko po kasi yung time natin. Uh, we uh, intended lang po tayo for one hour. So, yung two hours po, baka maabala ko na po kayo masyado. Okay? Alright. So, multiple response. Now, let's proceed to the next activity. We have the fill in the blank. So, again, Double click or right click new question. Fill in the blank. Nakakasunod po. Thumbs up, please. <laughs> Daming hacks on how. Okay, good job. Nakakasunod naman. Don't worry. Sir Wax will provide you the certificate for this. But I guess kailangan po natin na output. No po. Okay. So for the fill in the blank. Again, let's type the question. Okay. Yung question po natin. So, or yung statement. Since this is a fill in the blank, let's put the statement. Okay. It is a reference material which gives us the meaning. Nakakasunod po ang lahat? Nakakasunod po ba? Difficult word. Okay. Okay, following. Okay, good job. So, ano po ito? A reference material which gave us a meaning of a difficult word. So, what are the acceptable answers? Okay. Dictionary. Anong nangyari? Hello? Hello? Hello po. Dinig niyo pa po ako? Saan po kaya galing yun? Sa iyo. Sa akin, sir? Hello po. Nakamute kami. Galing sa iyo yun. Naghang. Naghang po tayo. May feedback po ako. Naghang. Hang ka? Hindi naman po, sir. Kita niyo po ako? 
Oo, okay na daw. Nag-feedback tayo kanina. Ganyan po talaga pagka po live po talaga. So, as you can see, my dear teachers, uh, yung dictionary po natin, yung pagkakatype po ng kanyang letters ay small caps. Okay? Pwede rin namang capitalize each word. Dictionary. Pwede namang all caps. Okay? So, ito po yung mga mga acceptable answers. Paano kung Jejimon caps? As long as tama, kung alam pa natin yung mga possible answers, i-write po natin. Pero, mas mainam po na i-encourage po natin yung mga learners natin about the proper uh, casing. Apo? Kung small letters, small letters. Kung first letter must be capitalized, capitalized. Kung lahat ng sagot dapat ay all caps, all caps. And dapat po, nasa instruction din natin. Dapat all answers or the answer should be in capitalized or in capital letters. Okay. Sige sir, balikan po kita mamaya sa tanong mo, sir, uh, ma'am Jenny Liu. No po? Okay. Balikan po natin yan. Okay. So once you're done, click OK. Okay. Pwede rin po natin ulit lagyan ng text-to-speech. Okay. There you go. Nakasunod po? Nakasunod. Okay, nakasunod naman daw. Okay. So next, doon naman po tayo sa uh, matching. Okay? Matching. So sa matching, para pong matching type po ito. So connecting. It's all about connecting uh, uh, a word to a sentence, uh, connecting phrases, okay, connecting uh, digraphs, okay, to form another word. Okay, for example, connect the words below to form a compound noun. All right? So, for example, we have the butter. Okay? We have the rain. For C, we have flash. <clears throat> for D, we have class. Okay? Reminder spot. Reminders po. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir Max, ano lalang mo? Messenger. <laughs> Hindi ko makakita. Okay. So, uh, reminders po, my dear teachers, kung ano yung tamang sagot, dapat yun yung katapat niya. For example, butterfly, uh, raincoat, flash light, then classroom. Okay po? Nakakasunod po. Okay, nakakasunod po. Nakakasunod. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, then click. Nakakasunod. Okay. Alright. What if, ito, what if, ang gusto naman natin, ang ating tanong ay multiple choice. Okay, babalik ako sa multiple choice. Pero may blank. Okay? May blank. So, nag-right click po ako sa multiple choice. Tapos, uh, nag-new po ako. Okay? So, blank. For example, blank is the primary input device. Okay? So, we have here the monitor. We have the keyboard. Wait, palit namin monitor, gawin ko mouse. Kasi input eh. Mouse. We have the scanner. We have the microphone. Okay. Microphone. So, syempre, ang tama po dito, di ba, is the, ano? Input device, primary input device, keyboard. Okay. If you want to put a text-to-speech dyan, pakinggan po natin, ha? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Puro underscore po, di ba? So, the best thing po natin na gagawin dyan is to please type po muna natin blank. Okay, blank. Alright? So, pagka nag-text-to-speech tayo, kailangan buray muna natin yung una and then repeat the process. Okay, and then, kung kanina puro underscore, palitan ulit natin ng underscore. <laughs> Hindi nagre-reflect ang audio ng laptop ko sa Teams at FB. Okay. Wait a minute lang po. Check. Nag-change ka kasi na headphone. Oo nga. Mm -hmm. Hindi daw nagre-reflect. Teka lang po, sir. Audio in... Okay. Input. Sir Mark, I know you're listening. Is it okay na po? Okay. So, pakinggan po natin na binalik ko yung underscore underscore pero hindi ko binura yung text to speech. So, blank pa din. Okay. Learning po. Wala pa din daw. <laughs> okay, pero dinig nyo po ako sa Teams. Yes. Okay, nawala uh, yung feedback natin sa Facebook. Sige. Dinig naman, dinig. Sige, using ko to later kasi nagpalit po ako ng microphone. Okay, maraming pong salamat. Anyway, babasahin nung text-to-speech natin yung word na blank. Okay. So, now, uh, Last part po tayo. Punta tayo sa sequence. So, for the sequencing, okay, talking about sequencing, ito po yung arrangement ng pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pangyayari. Uh, kagaya po sa history o kaya po sa mga steps, sa pagluluto. Okay? Pwede po natin magamit yung sequencing. For example, uh, For example po ng sequencing natin is uh, arrange the following following words alphabetically. Okay? So, sequence natin. We have the apple. We have the banana. We have the cherry. And then we have the durian. Okay? Again po, reminders, my dear fellow teachers, okay, kailangan ilalagay natin yung correct order for sequencing. Ano po? And then, bahala na po si Wondershare Quiz Creator kung paano niya irarambol or uh, tawag doon, uh, pagbabalibalik ta rin yung mga choices. Okay? So, last part po tayo. We are going to publish. Ready na po bang lahat mag-publish? Okay, good. Ready na po ang lahat mag-publish? So, for publishing, everybody, please click publish. <coughs> okay. Nakasunod po. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, we are going to make an offline quiz. Okay? So, ang pipiliin po natin is the CDXE. Okay? As you can see there, meron po tayong quiz title. Yung quiz title po natin ay ginawa po natin during the preliminary. Okay? And then, folder or location. Marami po sa atin ang naliligaw. Marami po sa atin ang hindi makita kung saan yung natapos na nating project. So, we have to click the triple dots there. Okay, click po natin. And then, this PC, then click desktop. Okay, 
Dapat po lalabas sa desktop natin yung ating published material. Right. Sir Mark, asan na yung ano mo, yung share screen mo? Ay, hindi pa na ako naka-share screen. Ano ba naman? <laughs> ano nangyari? Hello, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, balik po tayo ha, sa pagpa-publish. Click po natin, publish. And then, CD or EXE. Kasi po, ang ginagamit po natin ay offline. Ang gagawin po natin ay offline. So, pwede natin to transfer from one computer to another computer. From one DCP to another DCP. Ano po? We had the quiz title. Ginawa na po natin yan kanina. Nawawala po yata ang aking share screen. Okay. Share mo ulit. Okay. but nawala? Share mo ulit. Ayan. Okay na po. nag stop Okay na po? Okay. Okay. So, the publish natin, we have the quiz title. And then, yung location po natin dapat nasa desktop para po madaling hanapin. So, location. Meron tayong three, uh, three pole dots there. Click. And then, this PC, desktop. And then, click OK. Then, click Publish. Okay. Always remember to click Open the Folder. So, ito na po siya. If you open the folder, dapat po meron tayong pitong tanong. Kasi pito yung ginawa ko. So, we have your total seven questions. The full score is eight. Passing rate is 50. Passing score is 40. So, if we click continue, ang Pilipinas ay nasa isang kapuluan. Click submit. Choose the correct, choose the answer, then click submit. Nailalabas pong feedback. Dito naman, nilagyan natin kanina ng text-to-speech. Okay, then click submit with feedback. Okay. Click to answers. Balik po tayo sa ating untitled um, Wondershare Quiz Creator. Rule of thumb. Okay, when we say rule of thumb, we have to save always. Okay, kasi po, Bukod po yung pagpapublish sa pagsisave. So sa pagpapublish, pinablish lang natin yung Excel file po natin. Pero hindi po po tayo nag-save nag ng mismong quiz creator natin. So as you can see, file name natin is untitled. So the file name that we're going to put there is your subject, then the topic, and then the grade level. Okay, then click save. Okay po. I know that my time was limited. So if you have questions, don't worry, I'll answer all of your questions. Okay po. So you can check your published article or published output. So kung makita natin dito sa aking desktop, meron tayong ICT topic level. Ito po yung mabubuksan gamit lang ang Wondershare Quiz Creator. And this one is yung ating publish uh, or finished product. Okay? So I'm turning back uh, the microphone to Sir Wax. Okay, thank you very okay. much, Mr. Paolo, uh, Marco Paolo Victoriano, our yes, MIE trainer for uh, this afternoon para po sa session about uh, Wondershare Quiz Creator. I know uh, some of you are already uh, familiar with my Wondershare Quiz Creator kasi uh, sa ating pong mga participants, they are giving suggestions and in advance no? kasi meron na po silang idea with that. And we thank you for that. We're thankful for having your uh, suggestion, comments. Okay, So I'll give you uh, five minutes for a question and answer para po matanong po natin ang ating speaker. And thank you very much, Mr. Paolo. Sir, sagutin ko lang po yung mga tanong. Chronological events can be used for sequencing. Yes po, Sir Milano. Okay po? Okay. May nagtanong po kanina, uh, paano daw po maglalagay ng bullet? Okay, yes. Pwede po tayo maglagay ng bullet, copy, paste from Word. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. 
it would be good also to save other our quiz as raw file. Yes po. Uh, yung last part po tinuro ko po mag-save, no po? Kasi yun po yung pinaka raw file po natin para po pwede tayong magdagdag. Uh, naging practice ko po na for every uh, every class, meron ako evaluation, five sets of questions to 10. So, yung pong 10 questions na yon kapag po na pagsama-sama ko sa lahat ng aking classes or topics, nagiging ano, nagiging summative exam ko na rin po. Okay? And if you're going to explore more of this Wondershare Quiz Creator, pedi po tayo mag-publish ng Word at Excel, uh, Excel type. So we're in, kapag po nakapag-consolidate na po tayo ng uh, for our summative test, i-edit na lang po natin yon, and then we can give that to our student as a paper and pencil test. Kung ayaw naman po natin ng paper and pencil test dahil nagsasave tayo sa papel, uh, we can invite our students or learners to take the quiz offline using our DCP lab. Okay po? Okay. Uh -huh. May Thank you very po. much, Sir Marco. May tanong pa po ba? May tanong pa po tayo? Okay. Siguro kung wala na, no, let's move on with our next topic, which is uh, Microsoft Forms to be discussed by Mr. Ricardo Enriquez Jr., our OER volunteer from Santa Maria, Bulacan. Sir, excuse me lang po. Yes, uh, po. Sagotin ko lang po si Sir Sid. No po? Uh, if we are using DCP, kung yung pong DCP natin ay meron pong net, mo, uh, net monitor. Oh, net monitor nga ba yun? Uh, net support, rather. Net support. Okay? With the use of net support, uh, pwede tayong mag-deploy ng mga questions and then after that, we can collect that. Okay. Dashboard. Yes, you can use that on the dashboard also. By the way, my dear teachers, you can print their output. Yung mga students natin can print directly to your printer kung naka-network yung printer natin. Uh, about end computing units, yes. Yes, ma'am Donna. So if you have questions, uh, you can give me a PM so that Sir Ricardo can uh, continue with this topic. Na po. Uh, sasagutin ko po lahat ng tanong ninyo. Uh, lahat po ng gusto nyo pa pong malaman. Sasagutin ko po. Okay? Okay. So maraming maraming salamat, Sir Marco Paolo Victoriano from Columpit National High School. Okay, now let's move on with our next topic, Microsoft Forms. Uh, ito po yung discuss sa atin ni Sir Ricardo Enriquez Jr. Sir Ricardo. Hello, good afternoon, Sir. Yes. Okay na po. Apo, Sir. Okay. So share ko lang po yung screen ko muna. Nakikita na, sir? Share mo, sir. Share. Wow, wait lang po. Ang tagal nung ano eh. Okay na, sir. Ito sir, share. Sana po yung ano ninyo. Ito, Microsoft Forms. Malit yung screen ko, sir. Pakilakihan nga, sir. Okay, yan na po. Okay, sir. Ay, malakas. Nakikita na po ba ng ating participants ang ating power presentation? Okay, sir. Sir, nakikita ka na po yung ating ano, uh, power presentation. Opo, oh, sir. Ay, lalamitaw nung ano. Ayan. Nakikita na po yung PowerPoint ka, sir? Opo. Ayan. So, sige po, sir. Start ko na po. So, good afternoon po, mga ka-teacher. So, ang topic ko po ay Microsoft Forms. So, bago ko po umpisahan yung aking topic, uh, pakilala ko po muna kung sino ako. So, yan po sa screen ang aking uh, pagkatao. Yeah. So, ako po ay 
uh, degree holder ng ano po uh, secondary education major in mathematics and so nag kuha rin po ako ng computer system design sa programming po uh, nagte freelance din po ako as a uh, website developer then uh, po ako under Tesla competition for seven years Yan po. So I'm also a national certificate holder of Visual Graphics, Computer System Servicing, and uh, TM1. So I'm also an OER volunteer or ad. Nawala ata sa linya si Sir Mar, ano si Sir Ricardo? <coughs> Nawala na ata si Sir. Sir? Hello? Ang nawala, nawala. Yes sir, nawala po ang sir. Oo, oh, nawala nga siya. Oh. Hello sir. Ano, ano ko ba siya matatawagin? Ito, ina-add ko siya eh. Enriquez. Pero yung slide niya, dire-diretso. <laughs> Tawagan po natin. Okay, i-join po natin siya ano po. Andiyan pa po ba kayo? Pasensya na po sa naging uh, technical uh, error. Okay, i-join natin siya. Hello, sir. Sir Marco, ma yes, ma sir. Ma ma add mo ba siya? Try Hindi mo nga. Hindi, sir. Eh. At wala ko, sir, ano, wala ko, sir, privilege to add. Enriquez. Dahil lang, ha. Yun. Bumagal ata. Hello, sir. Andiyan ba siya? Okay. Doon. Okay, sir. Sige, sir. Nakikita po ba yung screen ko? Hindi po, sir. I-share mo, sir, ito. Pindutin mo yung arrow. Ayun, sir. Senior ko na. Okay po. Nakikita na po? Nakikita na po ba natin yung ating screen kay sir? Hindi pa po. Hindi pa po, sir. Okay. Let's wait lang po for a moment. Okay, sir. Try mo ulit, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yan po. Kita na po. Okay na po. Nakikita na po ba natin? Visible na po ba? Yes, sir. Okay. So, visible na po, sir, ang slides. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay na po, sir. Okay po. Okay, so tuloy ko po yung sinasabi ko. No? Yan. So nag-introduce po ako kanina nung no, naputol. No, po. Sa, so ayan po sa screen na lang, pakibasa na lang po. Then ilipat ko na lang po after one minute. Yan. Okay na po ba? Yan. So what is Microsoft Forms? Yan po. So sabi po si Microsoft Forms is a simple, lightweight app that lets you create easily surveys, quizzes and polls. So yun po yung mga pwedeng nating gawin kay Microsoft Forms. So kung kanina po ang ginawa po natin kay Sir Marco ay gumawa ng offline quizzes. No po, ito naman po kay Microsoft Forms, pwedeng tayong gumawa online. No, for, for what purpose po? Bakit gagamit pa tayo online? Meron na po tayong offline. So pwede po natin siyang gamitin pang uh, Alternative, kapag meron po tayong mga learners or student natin na hindi nakakapasok or for some reasons na hindi sila available, maka-attend ang ating klase. So para po sila makahabol, tulong na rin natin sa kanila, we can provide online places. Nasusundan po ba? Apo. Yan. Okay po, tuloy ko po. Yan. Sir, so for... sir, sir, excuse, share mo yes, ulit sir yung, ano mo, yung slides mo. Nawala siya. Nawala po. Opo. Yan po, sir. Wala pa rin, okay sir. Eh. Wala pa, sir. Wait lang, sir. Ako mag-try. Medyo bumabagal na yung connection. Okay, sir. Sige, sir. Proceed ka na, sir. Okay, so... Yun po. So, sabi nga po natin, no, it lets us create survey, quizzes, and polls. So, syempre po, as part of educational institution, No, hindi lang po quizzes pwede natin gawin sa Microsoft Forms. Pwede rin po tayo magpalik ng feedback from teachers or parents o kung ano man pong activities yung pwede natin magawa using Microsoft Forms. No po. Si business side, syempre po pwede rin po nila yung magamit for feedback to measure their employee satisfaction and improve their product businesses using po yung survey or poll po na meron tayo. So, as education no sa teacher tayo po ay uh, makakatulong sa ating mga learners or students no using online Microsoft Forms bakit po so, kasi we can provide quizzes so kay Sir Marco kanina sabi ko nga po offline yung ginawa natin doon so bakit kailangan pa tayong gumawa ng online so sabi ko nga po uh, gagawa tayo ng online para matulungan po natin yung ating mga learners na hindi makapasok sa eskwela for some reason. Alam mo po, nagkasakit or kung ano man po yung mga magiging emergency nila. Na ano. So, to ano na lang po, uh, as part of ang tag natin doon, uh, alternative natin na solution para matulungan yung ating students. Yun po. So, pwede sir Mark Wax magtanong sa ano? Sa ating yes, participants. Yes, Yes, sir. Uh, Sige po, sir. po. Yan po yung tanong ko, what is Microsoft Forms sa isang participant, sir? Okay, what is Microsoft Forms according po sa ating speaker? Anyone po? Sir Milano, nandiyan ba siya? Sir? Yes, sir. Hello. Yan po, sir. May tanong po ating speaker, what is Microsoft Forms? Baka po may idea kayo.
sir. Nawala na din sir. Yun. Wala pa sir. O, sige, okay na sir. Ulitin po natin. Oh, Microsoft form is let's up. Uh, it helps us to create surveys, quizzes, and polls. So, how Microsoft forms work? Yan. So, napaka-simple lang po. Kung, kung kangina po, nadaliin kayo, mas madadalian po kayo kay Microsoft Forms. No po? Why? We can build a form in minutes. So, after we create our form, we can send it to anyone no, using their email or anyone with the link. They can use our Microsoft Forms. So, we can also see real-time results. So, like in Wondershare po kangina, no po? after the learners answer all the all the questions given no you, we can see the results dito rin po kay microsoft forms meron tayong real time results na makikita so it helps us to do our tasks na mas mapapadali po tayo kasi siya na po yung bahalang mag-check yan so ano pa po yung mga pictures ni microsoft forms And so, in using Microsoft Forms, pwede po tayo dito mag-add ng ating logo mismo or ng school, kung lab na lab natin si school sa ating uh, pinaka-header part. So, we can also change a form theme. We can add a picture to a question. So, we can also resize the picture. Of course, we can add, we can delete the form. We can also add video. No po? So, sa question po, pwede rin po tayong mag-add ng picture. No, except lang po dun sa mga magiging options natin. No po. So, we can also block internet, internet access during a quiz. We can copy or delete the form that we already created. Yan po. Now, we can also embed a form in Sway. So, Sway po is part po siya ni Microsoft products na in-offer. So, later po baka ibibigay din ni Sir Wax po sa inyo yung Sway. So, we can insert also a form quiz into OneNote. Yan po. So, OneDrive, then we can also create a form in Excel online. So, yan po si Microsoft Form. So, since di ko na po tatanungin ng audience, baka nawawala po yung connection. Sir, okay po po ba? Clear pa. Clear. Clear pa. Clear. Medyo choppy lang, pero clear okay. naman. Okay, sir. So, so, sa mga po, sabi ko kang ina, pwede natin makita yung results, real-time results. Na po. After our learners uh, answered the link yung know, ating uh, Microsoft Form quizzes, na po, ito po yung pinaka-results na makikita natin sa kanya. No, nandito po kung ilan yung nagsagot, uh, ano yung average, ilan yung naging active. So, every question po, meron din po siyang pinaka- Results. Ayan. So, nasusundan po ba? Yes po. Yes po. Ayan. So, yan po. So, excited po lahat, no? So, demo po natin. Saan po tayo pupunta para makagamit po tayo ng Microsoft Forms? So, kailangan po may account tayo, syempre, para maka-access po tayo sa Microsoft Forms. So, punta lang po kayo sa uh, httpforms.office.com. Nabigay na po, sir, yung link. Yes po. So, the link for uh, Microsoft Forms, you you should go to uh, httpforms.office.com. Kailangan po meron kayong account for Microsoft para po maka-access. Yan po. So, sa ating browser po, pagka tayo po ay naka-open na, ano po, syempre login lang po natin yung ating account kay Microsoft Form. So, pag naka-login po tayo, ito po yung screen na makikira natin using Microsoft Forms. Ito pong tatlong nandi dito, syempre, wala po kayo niyan. Ito po yung ginawa kong Forms. So, ano po ang pagkakaiba nito sa Google Forms? So, syempre po, bawat platform, merong advantage at disadvantage. So, meron si Microsoft Forms na wala kay Google Forms. So, hindi naman po natin topic si Google Forms, kaya dito po tayo mag-focus kay Microsoft Forms. So, kapag nandito na po tayo sa loob, no po, Sir Wax, naka-login na po ba sila? Apo. Okay Punta, na po. Punta po kayo sa, ano, sa forms.office.com. Okay. Sige, Sir, continue ka po. Ayan. So, uh, 
pag tayo po nakalagi na dito sa Microsoft Forms natin, uh, discuss po natin yung parts. No? Disregard nyo lang po itong tatlong uh, forms na nagawa ko na. Ito po yung ating muna makikita sa top, My Forms. Yan. So share with me, share with me po, yun po yung may nag-share sa inyo nung forms na yun. Makikita nyo po dito sa shared with me pag pinindot po natin yung share with me. So since wala pong nag-share pa sa akin ng kahit anong Microsoft form, so wala po tayo makikita. So sa group forms, yun po yung kung meron na tayong group, no, meron tayong shared sa group natin na forms, makikita po natin siya dito sa group forms. So pinaka-concern po natin ay dito sa my forms. No? So sa group forms, pwede rin tayong gumawa. Pero dito po tayo gagawa for this uh, tutorial purposes no po. Uh, sa my forms po tayo pupunta. Hello sir. So yan po yung Microsoft Forms. Sample po. Ayun. Sige okay. sir. Continue na sir. Apo po. And so going back with my screen, no po. So we have two options po sa my forms. We have new form and new quizzes. So ano po ang difference ng new form sa new quizzes? No po. So si new quizzes po, siya po ay mayroong, no po. Ang meron tayo kay quizzes. Yan. So difference nila, we can add answers and scores sa quizzes. No po, we can specify ano yung right answer and then what score ang bibigay po natin sa kanya. Meron din po tayo ditong math type question or equation sa pwede natin gamitin. So kanina po yun yung tanong sa Wondershare na wala sa kanya. So dito po kay Microsoft Form, pwede po tayong gumamit ng math type questions or we can put equations using uh, Microsoft Forms. Then we can also provide feedback kung bakit mali or tama yung ating binigay na sagot doon sa question. So, paano po yun? Try po natin. No po? So, syempre, uh, to be specific, si new form, parang pwede natin siya gamitin more on survey or poll. Poll po na gagamitin natin. Sa new quiz, uh, ito po yung sa quiz natin. Gagawa tayong online quiz. So, click po natin yung new quiz. Nasundan po ba? Sir, sure. Sir, sure mo nga po sir yung ano mo, yung uh, screen mo. Nawala, sir. Sige. Opo. Okay na, sir? Wala pa, sir. Yan po. Okay na, sir? Pakikita niyo po ba yung screen niya? Yan. Okay na, sir. Nakita na namin. Okay na po. Okay. So, O oh, sige po. Atuloy ko po ulit. So dito po tayo sa new quiz part pupunta. Naklik ko na po kasi kang yun okay. So new quiz po tayo. So halos same lang naman po yung alin punta natin sa dalawa. Kaya lang po yung in-explain ko kang yun Ano po ang difference nila. Dito sa quiz pwede tayo mag-specify ng uh, right answer and uh, points sa kanya po. Ano po. Then the math equations and so on. So, ito po yung magiging uh, next screen natin when we choose yung new quiz. Yan. Unahin po natin yung nasa bandang itaas. We have preview. Siyempre, alam po natin preview. Pagka nakagawa na tayo ng ating quiz mismo, tsaka lang natin pindutin yung preview. But for this moment, wala pa po tayo nagagawa. So, wag natin pindutin. So, next po is team. Yan. So, click po natin yung team. So, yung team po, we can choose kung anong uh, style ang gusto natin na maging itsura ng ating pinaka- Forms. Kayo na po bahalang pumili. Yan. Then, meron po tayo ditong share. Siyempre, pag kami nagawa na tayo, share mamaya na po natin siya balikan. Then, we have here sa dulo po yung ellipses button, yung tatlong toldok. Click po natin siya. So, we can set here the settings. Ito lang po gawin natin yung settings. Kakasunod po. Close okay, sir. Yes sir, medyo medyo delay lang. Okay po. Nagpo nagpi-press ka po. Pero naririnig ako sir. Apa naririnig po kayo? Okay, so continue po tayo sa settings po. Yan. So ito po yung makikita natin sa settings. 
So, naka-default na po itong show results automatically. Huwag na po natin galawin yun. So, ito po yung question sa kanya. Who can fill out this form? So, kung tayo po pwedeng mamili. Anyone with the link can respond. O yung lahat po nung bibigyan natin ng links ng ating forms ay pwedeng mag-respond sa ating shared link. Or only people in the organization. So, kung sino lang po yung kasama doon sa ating uh, group ng Microsoft mo. No. So, kung ito po pipiliin natin, we can record their name, then their response. Or if you want this one, kahit sino na binigyan mo ng link, they can uh, view and answer the form. So, next po, options. Nasusundan po ba? Medyo delay po, sir, yung ano natin, yung ating uh, screen. I think because of internet connection. Opo, sir. May nagdadaan po kasi mga sasakyan. <laughs> Nahihigop po eh. Para okay na po ngayon, sir. Mabagal po, sir. Medyo mabagal. Opo. Ayun pa. Anyway, you can proceed naman, sir. Ipapalo okay. na lang po natin yung iyong sinasabi. So, options, responses po tayo. No? So, syempre, uh, default po is accept response. <coughs> No, you can decide kung kailan po nyo i-start. Pwedeng masagutan yung uh, form na ginagawa natin. No po, kayo na po bahala doon kung gusto nyo po lang by, by default po, ang meron lang check ay accept responses. Then, ito po napaka-importante, ma-check po natin kung gusto natin na siya shuffle yung question. Kasi pag di po natin siya na-check at nakapagawa na po tayo ng form, hindi na po natin siya ma-check. No po. So, pwede natin i-check na dito yung shuffle question if gusto natin nagpapalit-palit yung question. No, kaya lang, meron po tayong mga part na ano, dapat nakalak, hindi po siya ma-shuffle. No po? Kasi hindi naman po lahat ng question ay, ano, mamaya ma-explain ko po kung bakit kailangan meron tayong ilalak na number. So, pero by default po, wag na po muna natin siyang i-shuffle. No po. Ito lang po yung atin kasi baka maubusan po tayo ng oras pag ginawa natin lahat yun. So, customer thank you message. Kung gusto nyo pong i-customize yung thank you message nyo after their response doon sa ating form. No po. Kayo po bahala maglagay. So, ang, ang nakalagay dito ang default ay your response was submitted. So, if you want to change, uh, pwede naman po natin i- Change. So sa notification po, pwede po nating uh, check yung send email receipt to respondents and get email notification of its response. So nasa inyo po yung kung gusto nyo pong uh, magpadala ng email receipt sa ating mga respondents na natanggap natin yung ating, uh, yung kanilang uh, response sa form na binigay natin sa kanila. Oh. And then, if we, if we want to receive an email notification, so saan po natat, matatanggap yung ating email? Siyempre, dito po sa ating nakaregistered na account sa Microsoft Forms. Yan po. So, na-gets po? Yes po. Ayan. So, dito na po tayo sa mismong Forms. Ayan. So, sa mismong Forms, meron po tayong dalawang tab. tab sorry. Sa Question tab and Response tab. Ayan po. So dito po muna tayo pumunta sa questions tab. So ang question tab po na uh, form po natin ay nahahati sa dalawa. We have the header and then we have the body. Ayan po. So ito pong ina-highlight ko pag tinapat natin nagkukulay gray. No, ang, ang nakalagay sa kanya is untitled quiz. Click lang po natin 'yon. Ayan. So we can change kung ano yung title ng quiz. For example, uh, type natin quiz number One. So, para mas specific po, ano ba yung quiz number one para sa ang subject kaya, no, lagay natin empowerment technology, MT. So, mas, mas maganda po kung uh, lagyan natin siya ng pinaka topic. Ano ba yung topic natin dito sa quiz na to? For example, like introduction to web. Yan po ang ating topic para dito sa quiz na to. Sabi natin kang ina, one of the features of Microsoft Forms is we can add image. Yan. So, click lang po natin yung nakikita nating icon dito. Insert image. Okay pa po ba, sir? 
Okay pa po. Yan. So, click insert na image. Insert image. So, when you click the insert image, so you have three options. Now, image that you want to search using Bing or you can use yung OneDrive kung meron tayong mga images na nakasave sa ating OneDrive. And then, we can also upload mismo sa ating computer. No po? So, for example, gamitin natin si Bing. We have to search for any image muna, no? Unwari, na pwede natin gamitin. So, click lang natin yung search, then wait natin siya kung mayroong lilitaw na image. So, you have to click lang the image, then add. Click, add. And so, lilitaw po yung ating pinaka na-search na image using Bing doon sa left side. Ito po, nung ating uh, uh, header. So, pwede po natin siyang i-delete. Palitan natin. O, kuha po tayo ng image. Kaling sa computer, for example. Uh, sa OneDrive, hindi na pa natin gagawin. Sa computer na lang po. So, gamitin ko po yung pinaka-logo ng school namin kasi ah, ito na lang po si Microsoft Forms. Click natin, then open. Sir, lag. Oo, oh, malag. Medyo malag lang po, no? Okay lang po, sir. <laughs> sir, Rick. Okay. Apo. Okay pa po ba? Medyo okay. malag, sir, yung internet mo, sir. Malag po ikaw. Pero okay. nakakasunod naman. Ang tagal ma-load ng picture. <laughs> Nakapag-upload na, sir. Na-upload na po dyan? Opo. Okay. So, type po natin yung uh, sa baba na lang. Ta-type ko po kung pangalan ng school namin. Parada National High School. Yan po. Okay pa sir? Yes, sir. Okay, so we have here the add button. Paano po yung gagawin natin? Tapos na tayo sa pinaka-header natin. So click the add button. Then meron po tayo ditong options. No? Choice, text, rating, date. And then meron po tayo ditong ano sa dulo, more. Click lang po natin para makita natin kung ano pa yung meron sa kanya. Now we have also ranking, Likert or Likert. Then we have also file upload. Net Promoter Score, and then the section. So, bago po tayo na, natin gamitin yung mga nandi dito, no? hindi po lang tagal natin, gamit lang po tayo ng iba. No. So, ano po yung usual na kinukuha natin sa bata pag nagpapakwiz? Name po. No po. So, first po natin gamitin yung section. Gamit po tayo ng section. Ano po gamit ng section? Siyempre, to section yung part ng mga items na meron tayo sa form. So, section 1 po, nakalagay po dito. Section 1. So, ano po gusto kong ilagay dito? Section 1. Po. So, sa section, ang gusto kong i-title sa kanay, po yun yung information details. Bata. Information details. Yan. So, ito pong section 1 natin is to get the information of the learner. So, ano po yung information na yun? First, ang kinukuha po natin ay gamit tayo ulit ng add, get tayo ng text para makuha po natin yung full name ng bata. Ano po? Full name. So, nakita po natin nag naglagay siya ng number 1 dito sa gilid. May 1 po siya. Ano po? So, type lang natin doon sa pinaka-box niya ay full name. Lagyan natin ng instruction kung gusto natin mauna yung, sorry, mauna yung family name kapag tinay. And yung iba po may extension name. So, lagyan po natin. And family name, sorry, first name. 
first name and then middle name. Sundan po, sir. Full name. So, ito po yung ating kukunin na information sa bata, yung full name. Now, syempre, wala po tayo itong correct answer. So, wala tayong iaad na answer. Kasi kahit sino, pwede mag-type ng kanilang pangalan. Wala rin po tayong ibibigay na points. Ano lang po kailangan nating iset up sa kanya? Required. No? On natin yung required. And then, hindi naman po natin kailangan ng isang mahabang paragraph para sa pangalan. So, wag na po natin i-on yung long answer. So, ang long answer po ay i-on lang natin kapag ka uh, paragraph po yung ating gagawin o medyo mahaba yung kanilang itatay. Okay pa po, sir? Apo, nasusundan pa. Yeah. Kaya pa so, ng net. Meron, po, meron siyang ellipses. Yung tatlong tuldok po sa dulo, no po. So kung gusto niyo pong maglagay ng subtitle, restrictions, no math. So hindi pa naman po natin siya kailangan kasi name naman po kinukuha natin. So ano po po ang pwede natin kunin sa bata? Grade and level, for example. Grade and section. So click ulit natin yung add button, then text. Ayan. Ano po ang kailangan makuha? Yan, number 2 na po tayo. Ang kukunin natin ay grade and section. Yan, so required din po. No, Naka-default na siya kasi inon natin siya kangina. So, so susunod na nag-add tayo nung text, naka-required na rin po siya. Nakuha po. Yan, so for example, yan lang po yung details na gusto nating makuha doon sa ating learners. Yung full name at saka grade and section. So, balikan po ulit natin itong add button. Then, balikan natin yung isang add section. No, section. Add ulit tayo ng section. So, dito na po natin sa next section. O, nakita po natin naging section 2. So, gawin natin dito mismo siya na yung pinaka ano natin. Uh, quiz proper. O, dito natin ilalagay yung ating uh, questionnaire. Type natin questionnaire. If you have instruction, lagay po natin dito sa description. Okay pa, sir. For example, yan po yung instruction natin. Yan po. So... Let us add na our first question. And ano po yung first question natin? Depende sa inyo po kung ano pong topic natin. Ano po kung Filipino or kung ano man subject yan. yan po. So nandito na po ba lahat? Okay po. Sige po. Continue. Yes po. Ayan. So, so first po na gagamitin natin is choice. Ano po? Kangina nakagamit na tayo ng text. So alam na nang gamitin. So choice naman po. Click lang natin. And then, we have number 3 here. No, bakit yan number 3? Kasi kung... <coughs> Type po natin ano yung first question natin sa multiple choice. So, for example po, ang topic ko ay about computer. No po? So, ang tanong ko po ay, this device is used to collect or input characters. So, sa option natin, Sir, wala yung desktop. Sagot, wala na po. Wait lang. Nakakasunod pa po, mga participants. Pasensya na po sa connection. Okay lang, sir. Okay na po. Sige, sir. Proceed Sige, po. Sige, sir. Okay lang po, sir. First option natin. For example, ano po yung option natin? Uh, keyboard. Okay. 
Sure. Then, kung kulang po yung option natin, we can click add option. So, gawin ko lang po, tatlo yung choices natin. And so, tatlo po yung choices na binigay ko, keyboard, speaker, and monitor. Alin po yung right answer natin dito? So, si keyboard po, used to input characters. So, highlight po natin sa kanya. Makikita po natin dito sa kanyang right side. No, may delete. Siyempre, hindi natin may delete yung option. Ilagay nga natin po. Ano po? So, you can check if that is the correct answer. So, kailangan i-click po natin. Makita natin itong correct answer. Nagawa po ba? Yes po, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, nawala, nawala po yung screen ko. Kita pa po namin, sir. Ito po nila. Yan. So, dapat po makita natin dito sa gilid ay correct answer. No, sabi po natin kang ina, isa sa features ni form ay makapaglagay tayo ng message. Bakit ito po yung tamang sagot? Kung gusto po natin lang. natin nabigyan ng explanation. Ano po? Nakuha po? Thank you, sir. Okay po. Yung screen po, okay pa po? Sir, wala po yung screen mo. Yan, okay na. May screen na. Yan. Pagkasensya na po. Maraming dumadaan sa sakyan. Okay, so wag po na <laughs> Kung naka-check na po natin correct, ayan po, wag po kalimutan lagyan ng points. Ayan. Ilang points po siya? Siyempre, one point. Every one question is one point. Nalagyan po ng points. Ano po? Sige po. Ayan. So, pag nalagyan po ng points, wag po natin kalimutan kung siya po ba ay required? Siyempre dapat required, sagutan po niya ni learners yung ating given question. So mayroon po ditong option, multiple answers. Siyempre pag multiple answers po, ito yung more than one. Ang ating uh, pagpipili ang tamang sagot dito sa options. Kaso wala, hindi, yung ginawa ko po ay multiple choice lang talaga, isang sagot lang ang pwede nating mapili sa kanya. So hindi ko po dapat i- Hindi natin dapat i-on yung multiple answers. Then we have here the ellipses button ulit. No. So ito po ay kung gusto mong i-shuffle yung option, magpapalit-palit. Pag, pag kinilik po natin yan, magkailangan makita natin may check. Yan. Yan. Sir, nawala po, wala po yung screen mo, sir. Oh. Wala yung screen mo. Okay na po. Wala pa po. Anyways, paki-explore na lang po my dear participants para po doon sa Microsoft Form. Okay na, sir? Wala, sir. And sir. Wala pa rin po. Continue lang daw po kahit walang visual. Anyway, if you want to ask questions para mat masagot din po nating speaker. Sir Rick? Apo, apo. Can we ask questions, sir? May tanong po ba? May tanong po ba kayo? Uh, para po i-activate yung correct answer. Hindi ko nasundan. Para po ma-activate natin yung correct answer, sir, kung ano po yung tama, click nyo po. Na-click po ba? Yung sa may check po, katabi po ng trash. Uh, tapos makikita nyo po, meron siya dito sa right side. Trash bin. Tabing-tabi uh, ng trash, yung trash button. 
Gapo. Gapo, sir. Nakita niyo po? Hindi ko nakikita yung... Yung trust. Click niyo lang po, sir, yung option kung alin yung tamang answer. Tapos, sa right side, meron po. Option. Okay. Nagawa po, sir? Yes, sir. Ayan. So, ganun po yung pagpili ng correct answer. Na po. Okay. Any question pa po? Question pa po? Magagamit din po ba ito offline? Uh, hindi po kasi po online po ang Microsoft Forms. So, you need to have internet connection. Okay na po? Sige po. Sige po. Ayan, kung na-set na po natin kung alin yung correct answer, no po. So, in-explain ko po dapat, required po natin, no po, nasagutan ni bata. Okay po, kung nasa inyo po, kung ayaw nyo po, or gustong i-required. So, dito po sa dulo niya, mayroong tatlong button, ay tatlong tuldok, no. Ang tawag natin, ellipses button. Click po natin. Then, tab options. Nalilitaw. Po. So kung gusto po natin na nagbabago yung position ng option, yung, yung, yung mga choices, itik po natin yung shuffle options. Kung gusto po natin siya nagpapalit every time na nag-open po siya. Na po. So nandito rin po kung kailangan natin yung math equation, nandito po, no, math. Ayan, meron po tayo dyan. So, yun po yung importante lang na gagawin natin sa kanya. Yung drop down, no? may na lang po natin yun gawin. Okay po, nasundan po? Yes po. Sir, nakikita po ba yung screen ko? Yes sir. Yes sir. O, gawa po tayo ng second question. Second question. Yan. So, ito po ulit tayo sa choice. Pero this time, gawin po natin multiple answer. So, for example, question po natin, no, number 4 po nakalagay, pero type lang po tayo. What are the example of input devices? Yan po yung tanong natin. So, pwede pong two or more yung ating right answer. So, gawin po natin dito sa multiple answers, activate po natin. So, magiging kulay blue. And then, yung radio button, kung napansin nyo po, naging boxes na. Kasi, check na po kaya sa akin later. So, options natin, for example, ay mouse. We can add the option for AI speaker. Yan po ang mga tasa natin. So, dapat po itik ulit na yung check. Correct answer. So, since ito po ang answers ang ginawa natin, no po. So, dapat check po natin ay multiple. No po. Sundan po. Sige po. Ayan. So, kaya natin ay dalawa yung taman sa gawin natin. Two points. Nagawa po. Hello, sir. Sir Rick. Okay pa internet mo, sir? Kasi saan na po tayo, ano na lang, 3 minutes na lang. Ma'am, um, sir. Ano uh, ba? Ayan. So, ano na sa text? So, ano na yung text? As po itong question natin. So, yung public answer po ba yung answer? Pag a link ba? 
Ngongola po yung ano natin, audio natin. Sinasang po, medyo ngongola. Okay. Sir, can we entertain questions na lang muna? Kasi ano na, overtime na tayo. Pwede niyo pong isulat ng inyong mga question dito po sa ating comment box. Para masagot po ng ating uh, speaker. Hello, is na kasi naman po ito. Hello. Lana. Hello. Sir, 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 sir,